Hello, hello. It is I, Terry Oliver, speaking to you with my voice. We are currently live on a storm chase. If you can look visually right here, you will be able to see thunderstorm anvils of a complex of thunderstorms that are forming across a moderate risk area. Now take a look. The Doppler is here. Funnel cloud, train spotter, remained elevated, did not touch the ground. We were watching this earlier, and you can see this one pixel right in here. Where this rotation kind of got tightened up, and we had that little fold right there. Well, these storms are basically drifting. And uh, there's a pretty mean one right down here near Sarkoxky. And uh, this storm is getting that southerly push to it. This is going to be one worth watching. All right. That is actually the storm in question. We were looking at it earlier, and uh, it was looking really good. So uh, continue to stand by. Continue uh, to stand by as we uh, as we continue to keep you abreast of the situation. And if you live in uh, Missouri, definitely be on the lookout today because there is the potential for what is called a derecho. And a derecho basically deals with very high winds. And as a matter of fact, if we switch sources here, we will see a tornado watch has just been issued for this area. So if you live in Springfield, you live in Columbia, you live uh, in Joplin, you live anywhere in central Missouri, and particularly later on tonight as you start looking into, for example, western Kentucky, northern Tennessee, when these things form into a line, you're definitely going to want to be abreast. So if we can cut in and stream, we will. If not, go ahead and follow me, Mid-South Chasing, on Twitter, Mid-South Chasing. All right, crew, we're coming to you live from an undisclosed location in Missouri. Take a look. We're in the midst of a severe weather event, and what we're going to do is we're going to show you what we got. It looks like uh, we kind of have gotten into this mess. A huge mess has resulted of this uh, storm system. Yep, take a ride. And unfortunately, we were able to track this event back when it started here. You know, there were funnel cloud reports. Uh, the severe weather was protruding and progressing. So we're going to take you on a little time lapse and show you now too much. Too many storms, too many roosters in the hen house. Uh, they're consolidating. Meanwhile, up north and over here, we've got discrete, discrete storms near Salem, south of Salem. Really wicked, really wicked storm right here. So basically i'm not calling it over yet we got this ugly mass of precipitation which is broken apart and here near our coal you know it's trying to consolidate you look down in there and there's this last little train but the way they're all merging together like that if you, you take a uh give you a visual observation the way we're dealing with that means that uh, it's highly possible these storms will destroy themselves, in which case this uh, this event could be a done deal, and uh, that's not good. We, we really don't like that, and uh, it's most unfortunate. With that said, uh, there could be some beasts hiding here. 
Let's go ahead and uh, switch sources really quick. And we'll show you the new update. Our colon just got this little backwards type C. And I think what we've got is some embedded stuff. If you go to the Echo Tops, what we can do is show you where the tops were. And, and earlier, unfortunately, the tops were doing a lot better. Um, that's a real heartbreak because we do have three tornado warnings, one here near Clinton, uh, one here near St. Thomas, and Salem is the best, about the best storm there is. Just north of Glad, you can see that's a sort of torn bunker. Bunker, you may need one. Uh, this is the best storm out right now near Glad, and, and uh, man, what a great storm out there in eastern Missouri. So we're left with this garbage coming in. Um, we can do vertically integrated liquid. Check the cores, which the cores are even waning. You now we went from having some pretty robust cores falling apart. But you go farther west towards Chickasaw. It's only 1:30, and maybe, just maybe, uh, you know, the gods. The gods will smile on us, and we can get some of these clouds to just sort of blur around and get one or two of those storms to hold their ground. If not, we'll be covered the event of the nighttime. Um, I'm sure it's very at the Springfield Metro. We, we definitely don't want a Joplin style tornado to come through, and I'm not sure. I don't, you know, you want to wait till later tonight to see if you're in the clear, but these right here are expected to form pretty much into what is called a derangia. You've got a couple of them, you've got progressive and serial. Generally, they fit qualification, a certain amount of damage reports, a certain intensity of wind damage, a certain duration, so a certain mileage and width. Generally, you want these things to be about 600 miles wide and uh, well, 600 miles long, about 50 miles wide, and you've got to get upwards of 50 damage reports. I can't necessarily confirm that, but but do look into it, my weather friends. It's uh, called a derecho. It's Spanish for straight ahead, and uh, that's basically what they do: is straight line winds. We're not seeing a lot of. All right, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining the Mid-South Chasing Live Weather Cam. It is I, Terry Tyler, looking a little haggard. Been out on the road for a few days, but I've taken a gamble. It's a chance we may see some storms later on this afternoon. So keep an eye out, particularly in this area. We have basically a dry line, which is where these potential thunderstorms, or in this case, just some little wisps on the radar screen, are moving from west to east. They do not look like much now. But if you look at this thing right here, it's a very faint little wave sitting here. This is the northern periphery of this, this uh, dry line, cold front type feature. I'm still learning a lot about meteorology, so uh, this is one of the regions. These are secondary thunderstorm development from the area where we were near spring earlier today. We missed the tornadoes here uh, near Marshfield, um, near Falcon, unfortunately. We were close, but uh, no way we could have made it up there, and these appeared to be the kind that form on the front of this strong uh, MCS type system. And here we have it again, more thunderstorms in the same area that have been developing. It was actually so hot, the instability, that, that these storms have actually reformed and regained severe thunderstorm warnings going right back towards Springfield. So you say, what's going on here? Well, per SPC mesoscale discussion, 
uh, 6,400 joules per cave. They're expecting explosive development in Oklahoma over the next couple hours. You can see 93 degree temperature, 76 degree dew point. Now, um, some of these earlier discussions, if you look at the actual models, this is near historic instability. In one of the SPC discussions, they talked about, pardon me, this uh, graphic is not displaying. Okay, they were talking about this being compared to May 27th, 1997. All right, crews, family members, agents, and disciples from both sides of the law. It is I, Terry Tyler, here to take you live on the storm. Here is our front-facing cam. And as you can see, we are approaching the storm. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to put them into the chat bar below. All right, time for a weather brief. We had moved around up here and we saw many a storms that had formed and they were forming along the sag. Unfortunately, I had moved south where this explosive development was expected to take place. As you can see here, there's been a couple of tornado warnings, a couple of strong thunderstorms that have literally formed sagging south down this boundary complete and total redevelopment toward the Springfield area. Uh, massive hail, um, damaging winds, uh, 69 mile an hour winds, three to four inches broken, power's out. Uh, and uh, we went south, take a left here. So yeah, we, uh, we basically went down there and it's it's been just one step ahead and one step behind because we've been inches away from the actual tornadoes and uh, or reported tornadoes or warm storms whatever you want to call them and now we're dealing with the situation um, we're running out of daylight this cloud feature you see right here is basically the sag um, you see this boundary we were showing in our earlier broadcast this boundary is apparently turning to be the focal point uh, of lift for these thunderstorms and uh, down south this is where I wanted some development we got one forming way down here one lone wolf down here near Ardmore Oklahoma and we've gotten a couple of those that's what I was looking for when I head down south uh, that didn't work so we're saving face. We're attempting uh, to save what little face is left. I mean, this is this is very expensive stuff, and it's very risky. And uh, beautiful country out here. Come take a look. Beautiful country out here. Uh, and I tell you, we're we're approaching the storm. There's been golf ball size hail uh, reported by a park ranger. So will this storm hold up? Will we be able to actually get there by the time the sun sets? Only time will tell. But hopefully you will join me on the quest. If you have any suggestions, things you would like covered, We're basically trying to get out of here of this storm. We've already got some pictures of it. You didn't get to see it earlier. Hail producing storm. We got some hail out of it. Here's the one we've been waiting for. Out of the blue. Down in the 
might get a few hail sounds out of this thing. Nothing too major. locked in there like that. Yeah, that's about what it looks like. 